Hey guys, welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. I am your host, Alex. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Uh, today's video is going to cover the new update for the free version of Elementor, and that is Elementor 3.2. So please note, these new updates are available for you regardless of whether or not you're using the paid version of Elementor. These are for the free version of Elementor. So without wasting any time, let's get started because these features are really, really exciting. When you update your uh, plugin to 3.2, your Elementor plugin to 3.2, and you go to the general section for your widgets, you will now see you have a new widget called the text path. Let me show you how it works. You drag the text path, drop it in there, and what it does basically is that it creates a new stylistic way of displaying headlines, uh, text, and so on. So this is the default. You can change the text. You can change the path type. The default is wave, as you can see. It's kind of like moving in a wave. You can go with the arc if you want to. You can go with uh, oval, spiral, and so on. You get the idea. And you can also uh, show the path as well. You turn this on, and you will have kind of like the line showing you the path with which the uh, text moves basically so it's a pretty cool feature but you might be thinking okay it's stylistic but um what else this becomes very very powerful when you combine it with uh, animation so just as an example if i was to go to advanced go to motion effects uh let's turn on the scrolling effects and i turn on let's say uh rotate as an example right right now you can see how it's beginning to look like it's kind of like a lock it's opening, you scroll down, it's closing, opening, closing. So you can create truly amazing designs. And honestly, I've said this before, and I know it sounds kind of cliche, but the truth is the limit to what you can accomplish with the widgets and animations is purely down to your imagination. Uh, when you combine this with different kinds of images and other animations out there, you can create truly stunning designs. So I'm not gonna cover all of them because that will take way too long, but uh, that is the text path uh, widget available for you. Now, they've also added a new feature uh, for your images. So let me drag an image widget right here and let me choose an image, this one right there, insert that one. So whenever you, you're working with the image widget, if you go to advanced, you will now see you have access to a new feature called the mask. You, you turn it on and now you can choose different kinds of shapes to let's say uh, uh enclose the the image so the default here is circle so now you can see my image is in a circular format you can go with flower you can go with sketch triangle you get the idea and of course you can also do things like change the size of the mask itself change the position you can choose to repeat if you want to you can actually also go with the uh, custom the custom shape so if you choose custom right here you can then choose your own image to use as a mask or uh, an SVG uh, file if you want to use that one instead. So that's the new feature available specifically for images. They've also made some massive improvements to performance and I'm going to go to their blog just to read you what they said right here. It says uh, faster page load with conditional asset loading experiment. And they're saying that in this version, we've reduced up to 50 kilobytes on every page load by adding to our conditional loading assets uh, experiment. By the way, if you want to know how to activate this particular uh, new feature, what you want to do is you want to go back to your back end. Okay, so let me do that real quick. I'm going to go to the back end. You're going to go over to uh, Elementor and then you're going to go to tools. And then right here, you will see the, oh, I'm sorry, no, not tools. You go to settings, my apologies, you go to settings and then you'll see experiments, okay? So you go to experiments and then right here, this is where you would see them available. So what you want to do is you want to activate the improved asset loading. Please note that even though the status right here says alpha, which means they're pretty much confident that it will work, uh, it might still conflict with some of, some of your other plugins, especially if you have uh, caching plugins, any plugins related to performance. Uh, please just be careful, make a backup of your website activate the feature and then see if there were any conflicts at all. Hopefully everything will be fine with you, but uh, they have uh, added new features right now to make pages load even faster with Elementor, which is amazing. Plus there is a new uh, feature called the import export. So again, in your back end right here, you will see the import export template kit. When you make it active and you save your changes, if you now go over to your uh, tools, 
you will now see the import export kit feature available. What this does is that it allows you to export everything Elemental related on your website and then transfer that to another Elemental website. So if you go to your import export kit, you can see right here, you can either start an export or you start an import. So you go with start export and then this will take you to the page where you can now choose what exactly you want to export. You can export all your templates all your elemental content, which will be your pages, your landing pages, and so on. And you can even export the site settings like your global fonts, global colors. So basically, you're exporting everything elemental related. Note that this won't export your other plugins, your themes, things like that. This will only export everything elemental related. But it's amazing because if you have another elemental website out there and you basically want to clone your existing website, you simply use this feature, export everything. This will be in a zip format. You go to that website and then you import uh, the kit and then that website will look exactly like uh, what you currently have on your own website just as long as of course you have the same plugins and theme uh, installed on that website as well so that's the new feature the import export kits and then finally they've also made a very massive improvement to their responsive uh, ui responsive user interface so if you try editing any page or post on your website and you go to the responsive feature Right now, you will see that you now have the ability to actually change the width and height of the screen uh, based on your own personal preference. We're no longer limited to just uh, the desktop view, tablet view, or mobile view. We can now customize how wide or how tall or short we want the screen to be. And of course, up here, you will see the actual width and the height. And uh, yeah, this is this is amazing. This is really, really amazing. Much better way of uh, experimenting and trying to see how your pages and content will look like on different kinds of uh, screen sizes. So that's the new update for uh, Elemental 3.2. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm very, very happy about these new changes and Elemental keeps on getting better and better. Now, I know many of you have suggested that I make other videos uh, talking about other page builders like Oxygen, Bricks Builder, and even Gutenberg. I promise I will cover all of those. I promise in the future, stay tuned for that. But uh, that's it for today's update on Elemental 3.2. Again, this is for the free version of Elemental. And uh, there you go. Please, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Do leave a comment. What do you think about these changes? Are you happy with them? Or maybe you're not happy with them. Do let me know. Uh, thank you so much. Stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.